Good evening, um, Dean Averick, uh, distinguished faculty, family, friends, the class of 2018, congratulations. Today is the day we've been looking forward to. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ivan Avramovich, and as an undergraduate and soon-to-be graduate, SCAR alum, it is a privilege uh, to be on the stage tonight. I wanted to share with all of you my experience at SCAR and how it changed my perspective as a student and a member of society. When I began my graduate studies in the fall of 2016, I was certain of one thing. I knew that I wanted to work closely with the faculty behind me. I had the hunger to conduct research and was eager to get started. I won't lie, the first two semesters were hard. You try finding where your original ideas and stories can fit within the larger umbrella of our program. All the while juggling those endless readings for the class that addresses Burton's human needs theory and has you wondering how you'll meet your basic need of a coffee from Northside Social. <laughs> Whether you studied abroad in Jordan or facilitated workshops all across Arlington County or completed a master's thesis in seven different coffee shops like myself, the journey has looked different for all of us. But I have no doubt that our collective, unique contributions will continue to shape the world we live in. Undoubtedly, these experiences make us who we are. During your time in SCAR, you likely felt inspired to create change, whether that was by adding on to existing literature or engaging with different minds around us. You struggled and faced adversity and heard things like, this may not be the best idea. But by pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and choosing to respond amidst that adversity, you were soon able to thrive. For me, stepping out of my comfort zone meant studying people who were just like me, a Bosnian youth living in the United States who has been exposed to stories of war that impact their day-to-day -day interactions. I've noticed that during my time in the program, I've changed. Simple concepts and even events are no longer simple in the way they once were. When I was younger, my friends and I attended these concerts in Chicago, held by artists and bands from ex-Yugoslavia. Back then, there were just events I went to to pass the time, and the experience ended after the final encore. However, as a, result, as a result of my thesis research, I've learned that these were not just concerts, but venues where individuals crossed ethnic and religious borders, celebrated a strong part of their collective Yugoslav identity, and for a couple of hours were not feuding, but were one. My research would not have been possible without a set of people who have had an amazing influence on my life. To my thesis committee, Dr. Pachinska, Dr. Flores, and Dr. Lyons, Thank you for having full faith in my research goals, always providing constructive feedback, and for challenging me when I needed it. To my parents, thank you for always being there for me, day and night, even now, as we juggle life in different time zones and continents. Lastly, to my aunt, thank you for teaching me to never give up on my studies, just like you never gave up on yours, if, even with a seven-year-old Ivan constantly distracting you. I am sincere, I'm sincerely grateful for the opportunities for growth and success, George Mason University and SCAR have provided me over the years. Not only have I learned the level of impact students of this program, myself included, can have in society, but I've developed a greater appreciation for my past that will guide me through my future. While you may feel like your footprint sometimes goes unrecognized, just know it has left a permanent mark on the greater SCAR academic community. Today is a proud day for us all, graduates, faculty, friends and family alike. So it is with great pride that I wish you all the best of luck as you prepare for the next chapter in your story. Thank you.